You don't know anything about what's coming. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. To ensure the balance of power remains in the hands of the people, the framers of the Second Amendment crafted 27 words. One sentence. To succinctly and definitively protect our freedoms from controlling political groups, oppressive religious organizations, or from an abusive government. Right to freedom from violent harm and the right to self-defense is found in the Torah and Christian Bible in Exodus 22 verse 2. In Jewish law, the Talmud states, If someone comes to kill you, arise quickly and kill him. Roman Catholic doctrine has long asserted, Someone who defends his life is not guilty of murder, even if he is forced to deal his aggressor a lethal blow. Protestant theologian Samuel Rutherford writes in his 1644 publication, Lex Rex, Because no king or civil power can take away nature's birthright of self-defense from any man or a community of men. Even the Declaration of Independence, written 15 years before the Second Amendment was ratified, clearly states, All human beings are endowed with certain unalienable rights and that governments are created to protect those rights. So, what exactly is an unalienable right? A right that cannot be transferred or taken away. Prohibits the federal government from infringing on the rights of the people. As clear as the First Amendment's language of prohibiting Congress from infringing on the right of the people to religious expression, freedom of speech, and freedom of the press, the Second Amendment is also clearly a protector of rights. Being necessary to the security of a free state. The Second Amendment refers to a well-regulated militia. The right of the people to form citizen militias was unquestioned by the Founders. Alexander Hamilton, in the Federalist Papers No. 28, expressed, When a government betrays the people by amassing too much power and becoming tyrannical, the people have no choice but to exercise their original right of self-defense, to fight the government. In the Federalist Papers number 46, James Madison, the father of the Bill of Rights, argues, The ultimate authority resides in the people, and that if the federal government got too powerful and overstepped its authority, then the people would develop plans of resistance and resort to arms. The conventions of a number of the states, having at the time of their adopting the Constitution, expressed a desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers, that further declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added. Since a preamble states a purpose, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people. The well-regulated militia only reinforces the importance of the individual right to keep and carry arms, required to join. It was your duty to report for service four to six times a year. 
you are required to have your own musket, bayonet, ammunition, and knapsack. If you were unable to supply your own firearm, the militia would provide you with one. Militias were well organized, well regulated, with the men reporting to an appointed captain. Not only did you have the right to own a firearm, it was your duty 